to stylish Naja youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my youtube channel for all of the support i appreciate it guys i actually don't take it for granted okay so today i'm going to be showing you how to cut okay let me see put it down i'm going to this is a beginner's um, video i'm i'm naming it a beginner's video because i'm going to make it very simple for any beginner like i normally say beginners try out new and uh, styles new designs so this is one that you can actually try out i'm going to use an um, a beginner's asymmetric skirt or a triangular skirt it is very simple and easy you can use this pattern for children's and dresses also so i'm going to show you how to cut it and the measurement very simple and easy okay so before we get started if you want to register for my online class so you see the numbers my number is scrolling through the screen you can send me a message on whatsapp uh, i have um the ready to wear class for those of you that want to go into ready to wear how to size your dresses how to measure them how to finish them properly i have a corset class for those that don't know how to sew a perfect corset i have an advanced class and then i have a, a trouser class coming up also and then i have the beginners class and then the intermediate class so just send me a message i'll send you the details on whatsapp actually i'll send you the details of all of this so you can also follow me on all of my various social media platform instagram at stylish niger the facebook also and then pinterest all stylish niger okay let's just get started so i have my fabric here so it is a very simple style the measurement that we're going to need is the length and then the the waist so for this so you can see what i have i just have like a mini of that skirt so you see very simple and easy okay so the measurement that we're going to need is the waist the waist circumference and then the length the length on this side because it is a like a triangle you need a length here and then the the width length also so i'm going to fold my fabric into four and then we're going to measure out so let's just get started so i have about two yards of fabric here so you can use depends on the length of what you want that's um if you are making the one that is not too long two yards is okay but if you want a very long one three yards okay let me fold this now okay so you see now i folded my fabric into four so i just cut out i used the it's folded into four so this long part is 29 inches and then this short side is 22 inches so that's how much fabric i cut out so the next thing now i'm going to show you how to calculate this so this we're going to be using the peplum formula so in case you don't know how to use um the peplum formula if you're finding it difficult i'm going to make it as easy as possible for you to understand it is very simple i also have a flare on my channel that i did the peplum for beginners so i'm going to drop the link in the description box so that's how to cut a freehand um, method in case you don't want to do much calculation so you, you can learn how to do that also so for this part what we're going to do now the width of the that's the, the the round that's the waist measurement of this skirt that i'm going to cut it's actually 32 inches 32 inches that's your waist when you measure your waist to round for beginners it's 32 inches and then you are going to add because there's a zipper you are going to add a zipper at the back so the back like this is going to have a zipper so for the zipper allowance i'm going to use two inches so you add that two inches to your regular waist measurement which is 32 and then i'm going to have 34 inches it is very simple and easy what you are going to do you take that 32 inches and then you plus that two inches that is your zipper allowance and then you divide you have 34 this is 34 you now divide it by 6.28 so 6.28 this is like a standard and uh, formula for calculating flare so it is a, it is fixed that's the, the radius it is it is a fixed like a fixed and um, formula so you now use it to divide the 34 inches that you measure that you have it is very simple when i did the cal calculation i got 5.4 so that is, is the 5.4 now that is what we are going to insert in this part that will give us our waist measurement so i hope you understand the explanation so i'm just going to now come to this top point of my of my folded and this is the folded part i'm going to measure that 5.4 so i'm going to take it like this i'll measure 5.4 here like this and then i'm just going to 
that 5.4 i'm just going to keep measuring it. at times there's something that i normally do even if it is 5.4 because i don't want uh, i don't want to cut and then miss it what i normally do i can decide to reduce it by um, to like maybe 5.2 instead of that 5.4 so this actually helps me a lot so at the end of the day after cutting you find out that the waist will not be too big because at times you might cut it over that's for a beginner so i'm going just going to keep uh, measuring it at 5.4 you just keep just turn, turn it around like this. It is very simple and easy, like this. So at the end of the day, you are going to have a perfect curve like this. And then you are going to mark. You are going to mark it like this. So you see, so this part now is going to be our waist measurement. The next thing now, we are going to measure the short part of our skirt. So you see, this short part of the skirt now, that's the side side. You are going to measure it. So from this point, you are going to come like this. If you want, for instance, what I have here is 16 inches. I'm going to use the entire 16 inches. But for instance, maybe you are making this for a child and you don't want um, to use up to that amount. You can, if let me say, you want to use 13 inches. So you can come to this point like this and measure your 13 inches on this side. So as you, as you measure, as you are going, then after measuring the 13 inches on this side, you are going to come to this side and then measure how long you actually want the skirt that's on the long part that's this tip part to be so you measure also and then you mark it for instance this is 20 inches me i'm going to use the entire measurement of my fabric i'm just giving this as example so maybe this part now you are going to use 20 inches so what you are going to do you are just going to take this 12 inches point and then you connect it straight like this to this 20 inches point and then you cut out but for mine i'm going to use this entire measurement so what I have here now, I have about 16 inches. So I'm just going to mark my 16 inches like this now. And then I'm going to come to this point like this. I'm going to mark my 23 inches here, down here. So I'm going to still come to the center like this now. And then I would mark my 23 inches. So I'll just okay on this part like this, this center that's this center now i will reduce it this, this part is 23 this place i'll reduce it to 22 inches like this and then from this point i'm just going to make a curve like this i'm just going to blend it in so you notice this part here is what i'm going to do on this part like this i'm just going to blend it in this part i'm going to like make it sharp you notice i'm going to make it like sharp so on this part like this, I will blend more and then blend it into those points like this. So you see it is simple. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my tape, my scissors like this and then cut those parts like this. So you see how sharp it is looking. Okay, so per adventure, you want this part to be very sharp. You can always straighten that out. You understand? If you want it to be very sharp, you can always blend in. You can always blend it to have that sharp sharpness on the tip. That's on the, on the center of the skirt. And then after that, you are going to come to this point and then you cut. Note, I'm not cutting on directly on the line. I'm going to cut it from the inside like this. So for this, maybe if you are sewing this um, for a child and then you want to gather the waist, all you are going to do is you are going to increase it. You can decide to increase by as much as 5 inches or 10 inches, depends on how full you want it to be. And then use that as your waist measurement. Okay, so I'm going to open it up now. So what you are going to do for the zipper, you are just going to hold the one part of the long side and then you are going to open it along that part and then fix a zipper on it. But if you are going to be using a waistband, that's like an elastic waistband, you really don't need to open it. You're just going to fix the elastic waistband on the skirt. Or if you are using this for a dress, maybe like the picture that I, sh that I showed you earlier on, you fix it on top of the, the top body. So I'm going to place this on my mannequin now for you to see how it will look. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you see how our triangle or asymmetric skirt is looking. So you see this is the side, so it's looking very beautiful. And then you see the front piece, so you see the... The center of the front so like i said if you want the front to be very sharp you can just shaping it 
following the same way I did it. So you see the other side, it is looking beautiful. Like I said, you can actually use this pattern for kids. It, it comes out beautiful. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, I will appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what I did. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and share my video. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. Ciao.